In this section, we'll see how to edit the gitignore file that we created when we created our repository. Um, at that point, it may not have been exactly clear what gitignore was for. So just to review, sometimes when you're working with software, it will generate housekeeping files that are useful to it for the purpose of keeping track of what is going on, but not so useful for people who are interested in your documents or your code. An example of this is in Python. So Python creates this directory called PyCache where it keeps track of things that it needs to keep track of when it's running Python programs. Also, if you're using Jupyter Notebooks, it creates an invisible file called .ipynd underscore checkpoints. And the invisible files like this, you won't necessarily see because your operating system might hide it from you, but um, Git and GitHub will see them. And so if you end up pushing these files up into GitHub on the cloud, other people basically aren't going to care about the housekeeping stuff that's happening on your local computer. So you don't really want to subject other people to looking at these um, basically housekeeping files. And this is where the git ignore file comes in. So if you chose Python as your style of git ignore file, it's going to automatically come with a line that says ignore PyCache directories and everything that's in them. Do not um, stage them to be pushed up to GitHub. It also has a section where it says if you're using Jupyter Notebooks, which is a typical way of using Python, that it, sh that, um, it should not suggest that you stage uh, Jupyter Notebook IPYNB checkpoints as files to be pushed to GitHub. So once you've created, uh, added these things to the get ignore file, then you don't have to worry about whether you should, un whether you should check or uncheck the blue check marks for these files. They simply will not show up on your GitHub desktop. And I've committed it to the master. And when I did that, an interesting thing happened. This weird file called DS store showed up. This is actually an invisible file that Max create. And um, you see it's not shown in Finder here, but it is shown over here. That's because Apple is hiding it from me. So uh, in a moment, we will see how we can uh, take care of this and make desktop client ignore this file, invisible file, because there's not really any reason for us to be pushing an invisible file up into the cloud. Of course, I could just uncheck the box and then it wouldn't get pushed up into the cloud. But I actually want to fix it by fixing my git ignore file. So I'm going to go ahead and go open up Atom. I'm done with this spreadsheet here. If I go to the view menu and tell it to toggle the tree view, then I'll get my little navigation thing back here. So what I want to do is I want to add DS store to my git ignore file. So I'm going to um, just go up to the top of the file. It doesn't really matter where I put it. And I'm just going to type dot ds underscore or, and I have to use all the correct capitalization. Now, if I tell it to uh, save the file, then when I go back to the desktop client, you'll notice that the change that I made to get ignore is there. I've added DS store as a thing that I want it to ignore, but you will also notice that in the changes, I don't see DS store anymore because essentially it's ignoring that. So if I go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and use this commit message, well, actually, I'll just say add. All done. So, for evermore, anytime 
that my Mac creates an invisible .ds store file, Git will ignore it because I have put it into my Git ignore file, which is the purpose of the Git ignore file. <clears throat> 